All right, this is the easiest way I found to change these tires. This is the turbo tire changer. So you always put this down with the put this on with the valve side down. So the first thing we're gonna do is break the bead. I've already backed out these bead lock screws and make sure you back them out far enough so that they don't strip out or fold over on the inside. Right, Kyle? Yeah. And wreck the ram. You gotta learn somehow. That centers it, and then this piece will compress it. So these are all the spacers. Line it up so that you got some threads on the top for the nut. The nut started, then just run it down. Should pop twice. One, two. It doesn't like to run all the way down, so the nut it's already loose, so I'll turn it down by hand a little bit and then back it back off until the grab. Both sides are popped. How are you doing, little girl? Oh, yeah? Okay, now the bead is broken. So now we want to mount this. So this will hold the rim up this time, that piece, and then recenter it. And now, we just want that locked in place. Just turn this down, start it by hand, and then snug it up. All right, now we're ready to remove the tire. That's where these come in, the forks. So you want the cutting edge to go under the tire. Get it started. It helps if you squeeze the back so that this goes down inside that lip, top and bottom, and then it folds back real nice. And then this will line up with the rounded part on your spacer, and then you just hold and push. There, move it up and do the same exact thing. Get it started just underneath that lip, underneath that tire, fold it back, hold the tire, and push. Okay. Now this part can be a little harder. To put these on easier, leave these tires out in the sun for a while or heat them up with a heat gun or a propane torch. Or if they're soft enough, just put them on. I've done it cold before. It's not really that hard. But this is the trick right here. This stuff is P90. Don Wesley told me about this magic sauce right here. This stuff will make it real easy and this is just a bottle that I bought to put it in to make it a little easier. Run it around the bead. Check and see which way the other one was mounted on. Let's see. So the orange is away from the stem. So the next one we want the orange on the stem. So that's the side we want to go down first, this side. The orange on the stem, so the orange goes down first, the stem is down. All right, then you want to kind of grab the tire like this, so you push your palms into it and get your fingers on top. And then force it down, kind of use your shoulder to push in this way, push in that way, it's already on. And then to do the second lip, you can use your forks like this. These notches will ride right on the rim and this will ride around the spacers. So you put them both on just like that. Pull this back a little bit, get them started. So you fill it right in the groove, this one, and now you just Keep them in place and spread it apart. Usually put that right up against my chest here with one, hold the tire, and then it's already on. So this one's mounted. The last step is to get, get it to beat up. 
and there's a special tool if there's a band you can buy to put around this if you really are struggling with that but I think it's easiest just to just to try it no you want something like this where you can get your hand away from the inside of the rim because if you have a fitting and you're just pushing it in these rims can explode when it makes the bead and you don't want your hand anywhere near it so that's where these come into play turn it upright and then sometimes I'll go like this and push my hands against it and my hip at the same time to push all the edges in toward the rim and if we're really struggling I'll put a tie strap around the whole thing and then do it here two pops and keep going a little bit more to make sure you got a good seat on it and then thread down your bead locks again I have a little tool for these bead locks but I don't like using it no recommended the wrench for me instead that works better throw them down by hand until they're close and then this is the allen wrench the t-handle that fits it you can just spin them in and you don't want to over torque these just pretty snug because they're just steel going into aluminum so they will strip if you torque them hard We're going into magnesium, I should say. These are magnesium rims. There, that's it. I'll just wipe off the edge. And they're good to go. And those are the MG oranges. These are usually a little harder to mount, but these are already like two years plus old. So that's it. It's pretty easy.